Alpha Romeo Spider, 1996-2004. The Alpha Romeo Spider is a soft top sports car that looks and sounds great. Older cars in good condition can now be bargain buys. The owner's club can offer advice and recommend specialist garages, but spiders are quite rare, so you'll have to scout about to find one. The quick steering and raspy engines are tempting, but spiders ride harshly and worn parts can make them feel vague and unpleasant to drive. The body shimmies and shakes more than that of the GTV coupe on which it's based. The interior looks cheap, and although Alfa Romeo improved it in 2003, rattles are still to be expected. In addition, the seats get shabby unless you buy a lasso model, which has a leather interior. It's only a two-seater, but even so, space is far from generous inside and the boot is small. A full-service history is a must because neglect can cause oil to clog the 2-liter engine. Cam built changes are needed every 36,000 miles or 3 years, although Alfa Romeo says it's only necessary every 72,000 miles or 6 years. If neglected, the belt can slip or snap, rear suspension bushes wear, and if the resultant clunking is ignored, this can damage the linkage and arms, tripling repair costs. Look out for faulty or damaged hoods. The electric opening system must be A1. Also check the alloy wheels, as they can become pores, so the tires lose pressure. And if you're looking at a 1990s car, check it has a red-topped master key in addition to the blue-topped one. Without it, duplicates cannot be made, and replacing it is expensive. Rust affects the rear deck, where metal joins glass, and also under the rear arches. If it is visible, it is serious. Repairs are possible, but it will be expensive. Torn or frayed seats will cost more than you'd guess to fix. As far as engines go, you can choose between a 4-cylinder 150 bhp 2.0 and a 3.0 V6 that delivers 218 bhp. The smaller engine is more common and will serve you best. The 3.0 sounds great and is very quick, but has more power than its chassis can handle. The 2.0 is more of a match for the car, and since it is the same engine you'll find in the 156 and many other alphas, getting spare parts should be no problem. There are two trims, Turismo and Lasso. All have twins front air bags, anti-lock brakes, air con and alloy wheels, and all have manual gearboxes. Lasso models are worth buying for their leather seats. Plenty of owners have imported spiders from 1999-2002 when they were far cheaper abroad than UK dealer-supplied cars. Make sure any import is as well equipped as a UK model. If it isn't, it will be hard to resell later at its full value. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problem that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that will help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.